Look at this. We're putting a jail around yeah. our war memorial. Yeah. We'll take okay? it. We'll take it down just like we did the last one. Yeah. My so grandfather served in World War One. Was severely injured. My father served in World War Two. They are rolling in their graves right now for what's going on here. You served in the Air Force. As well. I served for 34 years in the Air Force. Very proudly served my country. Now they have turned me into a bloody radical. I'm disgusted. That man there, he's a puppet. They got something on him. That's what's making him do what he's doing. But nonetheless, he had a choice. He took the wrong choice. Yes, he did. Okay? And we will never, ever forget this. Never. never. Every one of those police there never. took an oath. Yeah. The last words in that oath were, so help me God, that they would defend the Constitution and Charter of Rights and Freedoms. They're ignoring. While they were doing their duties to protect the people of Canada. I told every one of them over there that they violated their oath. I also told them they all have the opportunity to do the right thing. And when the right thing is not arresting and, and, and injuring Afghanistan veterans, like this man, you were in he was arrested yesterday was and line yesterday. seriously I was beaten. Oh, look at the cuts on this wow. guy's head. If you don't mind, I mean, I'm, I'm, we're, we're live streaming to a lot of wow. people. Now. Say, say what happened, say it loud. So I was in the uh, the protester line, holding the line, uh, very peacefully. I had uh, just holding the line. The police grabbed me, they pulled me down. They need me in the back, they need me in the side, they kicked me. When I was down, the police, uh, they barricaded themselves, so they couldn't see me behind. They hit me four or five times in the head. My hands were completely up. I was not violent one bit. Um, they hogged, they tied my hands behind my back. I was there for two minutes. They pushed my head in the snow. They put their knee on my back. They put something against my face so I couldn't hear or see something for what was going on. Uh, they then lifted me up. They put me into a processing line where I was zip tied behind, my hands behind my back for two hours, standing out in the freezing cold. I couldn't sit down. I couldn't kneel down. I have a broken foot. Broken, I had a broken foot, broken ankle, broken hip, broken back. I have many injuries and they did not listen to them. They then proceeded to process us, take our information, put us in the paddy wagon, let me know that I wasn't being charged with anything. It was my lucky day and of course I knew that I was being charged with anything because this is ridiculous because I was doing nothing wrong. And then they put us in the paddy wagon, drove us around to confuse us for a little bit. They dumped us in an undisclosed location with just our possessions. We had, we didn't know where we were. This, the, the, the injuries you're describing were prior to this. Yes, this was, was 13 years ago when I was blown up in Afghanistan. Uh, it was... <laughs> there were four people in the vehicle. I'll, I'll take over. Sure. There were four people in his vehicle. Three of them were killed. They didn't think he was going to live. He has so many injuries here's, from here's, that. Here's my photo. That's the photo of the crater. Oh, from the, the crater of the IED. The IED is an improvised explosive device for those that don't speak the military. And uh, being beaten and whatever, it's, it's nothing. We'll come back. What's your, what's your, do you mind saying your phone uh, Chris Deering, I don't mind. And what, let me see what you have on your chest. Uh, so this is, I, I lost my Queen Jubilee medal in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the events. Uh, oh, you lost it yesterday. Yesterday's yes, event. And this is my campaign star, this is my sacrifice medal for being severely wounded. If anybody, I mean, if anybody finds that, they'll know what it, there's a lot, there's a lot of, I would appreciate that. There's a lot of people watching. If, you, if anyone found that in downtown Ottawa, if you do find it, uh, and, uh, and and anybody else watching. And I'll tell you what, standing in that line, there's no fear at all because what we're doing is right. It's very easy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. My friend is asking me to hug and... you for her. Oh. Thank you, Viva. <laughs> I want to know you're all taking personal risk to stand up for your country's rights and freedoms. Yeah, Thank you, sir. We need more like you. And we're growing in numbers every day. Police oppression is temporary. They're working under orders from people who are corrupt and don't deserve to hold an office here or anywhere. I saw better politicians in Lebanon when I served there. 
Thank you for your service. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Can I give a hug? You're Thank very you welcome. Us. Yes, you may, of course, have a hug. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Appreciate you. Yes, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, over on that side and up the side street. It's getting pretty violent. All you heroes, stay peaceful. No surrender! No surrender!